Today I'll be looking at the Minish Cap. The story takes place in the newly established Hyrule after the inhabitants of Skyloft descended from above the clouds. The story centers around a new Link in his fight against the Minish Wind Mage, Vati, who is trying to steal the life force. While searching for the life force, he releases creatures from a chest sealed with the Picori Blade, later known as the Four Sword. Vati kidnaps Zelda after releasing the monsters, and Link begins his quest to rescue her. Link is helped in his quest by Ezlo, a Minish mage that was turned into a talking hat by Vati. This new Hyrule is located in just a small part of the land that is seen in the Breath of the Wild map. This Hyrule is the precursor to the kingdom we see in chronologically later games in the series. Now I will present my findings on where the location of Minish Cap takes place within the Breath of the Wild map. I will say this up front, there is going to be some issues with the locations of the Minish Cap map within the Breath of the Wild map. The Minish Cap map is a top-down view of the area, while, as I've said before, Breath of the Wild is a more realistic map. However, I feel that I have found certain anchor points and a bit of lore that will explain these issues in lining up the maps outside of the artistic versus realistic depictions. Taking these points into consideration, I believe the map of Minish Cap can be incorporated into the Lanayru province in Breath of the Wild, specifically the area of the Lanayru wetlands and the entire area of Zora's domain. Again, the rectangular shape of the Minish Cap map does not align very well with the Breath of the Wild map, but let me present the evidence that will show that Minish Cap belongs in this area of Breath of the Wild. Looking at the map of the Minish Cap, there are four primary areas that stick out and have the most distinct geographical features in the game. The first area is Mount Cornell, located in the northwest of the map. This is the only named mountain in the game and takes up a large portion of the northern map. The second area to look at is Castor Wilds. This area is directly south of Mount Cornell. It is a vast swampy area that takes up one fourth of the westernmost portion of the map. The third area is Vale Falls. This is the only large waterfall depicted in the game. It is located in the extreme north of the map and extends south to the final area mentioned here. The final area is Lake Hylia. As I have mentioned previously, there have been at least three different Lake Hylias in the Zelda series. This Lake Hylia is in the east of the map and connected to Vale Falls. So why are these four areas so important? Well, they are the four areas that must be found in Breath of the Wild and in the relative locations that they are found in the Minish Cap map. So where can we find a mountain, a swampy area, a waterfall, and lake with the mountain in the northwest, the swampy area in the southwest, the waterfall in the northeast, and a lake in the east? As I mentioned before, all of these areas can be found in Lanayru province in the western part of Hyrule. The area highlighted in white has a small mountain that is called Cornell Peak in Breath of the Wild, there is also a small spring at the base of Cornell Peak, like in Minish Cap. As I mentioned before, names are not the only reason I will place a geographic feature on the map, though the name being roughly the same, Mount Cornell and Cornell Peak, does help the case. Next is the Lanayru Wetlands. This has a similar look to Castor Wilds, with both areas having numerous islands surrounded by water. This area is also south of Cornell Peak, lining up with Castor Wilds being south of Mount Cornell in Minish Cap. This area is called Veiled Falls in Breath of the Wild and is similar to Vale Falls in Minish Cap. The fact that the waterfall flows west to east in Breath of the Wild while Vale Falls flows from north to south in Minish Cap is part of the artistic versus realistic map issue. When looking at the location of the falls in Breath of the Wild, east of Cornell Peak and northeast of the wetlands, it lines up with the structure of the Minish Cap map. Finally, the East Reservoir Lake is located in the same general area as Lake Hylia in Minish Cap. The Reservoir Lake is southeast of Vale Falls and east of both the Wetlands and Cornell Peak. These four anchor points help to establish that this area is the same area where the Minish Cap took place. When putting the four anchors over the Breath of the Wild map, you can still see the rough area of where the Minish Cap map would be located. 
you can also fill in some of the gaps and determine where the other areas would be like the Royal Valley and the Trilby Highlands. Interestingly there is a Trilby Valley and Trilby Plain near the area as well. Now you may be asking why is the landscape so different from Minish Cap to Breath of the Wild? Well the answer can be inferred from some in-game lore from Breath of the Wild. The second history of the Zora describes the creation of the Eastern Reservoir Lake to prevent flooding in the area. This Reservoir Lake project was completed 10,000 years before Breath of the Wild and likely changed much of the landscape we see in Minish Cap. Likely, much of the Minish Cap landscape was excavated to create the reservoir. The fact that the four anchors are still there, though slightly altered and some being renamed, helps establish this area as the location of Minish Cap. Looking at the four anchor points that I mentioned, Mount Cornell, Cornell Peak, Castor Wilds, Lanayru Wetlands, Vale Falls, Veiled Falls, and Lake Hylia, East Reservoir Lake, I feel confident that the Minish Cap was confined to the area of Lanayru Province and that the area was eventually excavated to create the Reservoir Lake and change the landscape. Again, if there's anything I missed, please let me know and thank you for watching. I will continue this series looking at Four Sword in my next video.